Originality is somewhat different, fairly self-explanatory, right? That means that I do something new, maybe something that nobody else has ever done before. And that's the most exciting part of my sport, because think about it. For me to be in a gym, to be working on some sort of gymnastic skill that just maybe nobody else has ever done before, that's exciting. Until you stop and ask yourself this question, why is nobody else trying this? <laughs> and you think maybe they have, but they haven't survived. Let me show you an original skill I used on pommel horse at the games. You saw earlier when I did my dismount, I went up to a handstand on one arm, right? And then I got off the horse and I landed on my feet, right? Well, back when I was competing, going up to a handstand on the pommel horse was the new trend on pommel horse. Only in the past couple of years had gymnasts been going up to a handstand on the pommel horse. But the only time they would go up to a handstand was at the end of their routine because they couldn't figure out a way to get down from the handstand without just getting off the horse. So the handstand was always the dismount, the last trick. And if a judge saw a handstand, he knew the routine was over. He put his head down and add up the score. Well, I thought, what if I could fool the judge? What if I could figure out a way to do one of those handstand things and don't get off and just stay on the horse somehow? And that's basically what I did, and I'll show you in a moment where I'll do some circles. I'll swing out to the end. I'm going to turn. I'm going to go up to a handstand like the dismount that I showed you. But from the handstand, I'm going to drop to the center of the horse into my scissor sequence. That's that pendulum swing that we do back and forth with our legs apart. That's a required skill in our sport. The first time I did this unique break, as we call it, into the scissor sequence in a competition, I really surprised the judge because they did it at the beginning of the routine. I mean, I, I chalk up my hands, single the judge, jump up there, swing around, I go right to a handstand. The judge thought, <laughs> what happened to Vidmar? Oh. <laughs> The guy just freaked out. He forgot his routine. He's getting off. I'm going to kill him. He's excited. 2.3. And he looks back up, and I'm still going. And my score jumped about two tenths of a point, consistently from what it had been previously, just by adding this little original skill. I think the keys to, to originality, the key to innovation or creativity in my sport is stop watching the other guy. Now, I have to know where the trends in my sport are going. Part of that knowledge comes from knowing who the competition is and, and what they do. I can learn from that. But I can't base or pattern my performances after someone else. My goal, if you think about it, is to try to get to the point where everybody else is watching me, where I'm the standard of excellence. Now, that's not easy, but that's the goal. And one of the things that we had to do as a team was we had to stop playing the game called catch-up, and I'm sure you can tell what that is. We would go to these big events overseas, maybe a World Cup or a World Championship, Walk into the gym for the training sessions that precede the event. Look across the gym. See a great gymnast from China or Russia jump up on the rings or the parallel bars and do something that we've never seen before. And we'd say, wow, hey, did you see that? What a great skill. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Run back to the gym the next week, and we learn it sometimes just like that. No problem. And we say, it wasn't even that hard. Come back to the next important competition. This time, fairly impressed with ourselves, because now I can do that skill, and you're not so tough. Walk in the gym, look across the gym, see the same guy, this time on the floor exercise or the pommel horse, whatever. Do something even more innovative and unique, and we'd say, wow, did you see that? What a great skill. Why didn't I think of that? Run back to the gym the next week, and we learn it sometimes again, just like that, and it's always too late. They get originality, uh, we get nothing, we're just being copycats, doing just what it takes to keep our heads above water. One of the reasons why our team won, the Olympic team gold medal, was every member of our team stopped playing catch-up. Did things on our own that were unique and that were original. Let me show A you. talented speaker and performer, Peter explains his winning strategies using live demonstrations on the pommel horse. Don't worry, he brings his own. With such a unique approach, it's no wonder that Successful Meeting Magazine ranks him among the top 10 corporate speakers in America.